Thank you so much, and welcome to uh, this year's concert of the Whitney Center Jazz Orchestra. My name is Eric Richards, and we are excited to bring this evening of music, uh, jazz on screen, music for film, TV, and anime. Uh, our opener was the famous theme from Henry Mancini's Charade, and on that we heard on guitar, Craig Hall. And on tenor saxophone, Willie Wright. So we are covering music from film, and now we're going to go to cover a TV theme. And this is a theme for uh, probably one of the most beloved TV characters, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not doing SpongeBob SquarePants. I say stuff like that just to make sure the band is listening. Um, all right. No, it's Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Now, um, if you do some research on the music, you know that that's one of the signature elements of the show, and um, his show is, uh, brought, was uh, broadcast throughout the United States and also in Canada, but it hasn't really discovered international acclaim yet, and I think a show like that with, that, with those kinds of messages of positivity and affirmation would have an international market. All it takes is one smart executive at PBS, and they could get that show marketed internationally. So, this, we're going to ask you to imagine what would happen if a little girl or boy in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro or Sao Paulo, woke up one morning and turned on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, but they wanted to hear it in a Brazilian style. And we have a lovely arrangement by our dear friend Mike Tamero of Won't You Be My Neighbor.
Thank you very much. Scott Jefferson on tenor saxophone. All right, that was a nice little journey to the land of make-believe. Right? Okay. So this is the, the next piece is, uh, is our first really um, serious work. Uh, this is based on a film that uh, was released in 1958, and it's the story of a rather tragic situation involving Barbara Graham, um, who was uh, involved in a, in a crime, and she protested her guilt all the way to the point where the, her execution was carried out, and it became the plot of a very famous movie called I Want to Live. And um, this was a film that launched the trajectory of a uh, very well-respected composer. We'll be hearing more from him as the evening goes on, Johnny Mandel. And he was asked to create a score that was very jazz-based um, to kind of reflect, I guess, uh, her lifestyle at that time. And uh, we have a wonderful setting of this, uh, this rather serious matter, um, again, by our dear friend Mike Tamero. And this is Johnny Mandel's theme to I Want to Live. And on this, we're, uh, we'll be hearing from Tristan Egner on bass, um, Sheridan's own Max Marquis on baritone saxophone, and uh, John Gower Jr. on bass trombone. So here is Mike Tamero's arrangement of Johnny Mandel's theme from I Want to Live. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Max Marquis on baritone saxophone. My man, John Gower on bass trombone. And how about Tristan Egner on that bass? Thank you so much. Okay. All right, we're going to continue. Um, unfortunately, the music world lost a true creative genius, both in terms of film scoring, but in especially in uh, adding material to the contemporary American songbook, the late, great Burt Bacharach who passed away this year, I believe at the age of 94, and he left us such a wealth of music, um, again, particularly in the area of song, but he also composed a very, um, a very famous score in 1966 to the movie Alfie. And as, as some of you might remember, if you were around then, uh, that's this, uh, Michael Caine did a great job portraying this sort of rogue who moved from one romantic adventure to another until he finally figured out the meaning of life was, was far deeper than his, uh, his social calendar, ending in the tagline of the tune, what's it all about Alfie? And so this, uh, the, the sign of a good tune is that it enters the repertoire of both uh, uh, songwriters and song performers and the jazz tradition. And so this has become kind of a, a tune that jazz players like to play. And um, we have an excellent arrangement by Frank Mantooth. And you are going to get a chance to hear uh, our lead trumpet player, who does a fantastic job leading our brass section. Um, but he is also a world-class jazz soloist. And so you're, we are going to feature him on flugelhorn uh, on this uh, Frank Mantooth's arrangement of Burt Bacharach's Alfie. Would you please say hello to John Harbaugh? <laughs>
John Harbaugh, professor of trumpet at Central Washington University. John Harbaugh, give it up. Well, we come to our first French composer of the evening, um, a name that's probably known to many of you, the late, great Michel Legrand, who wrote a number of uh, fantastic film scores, as well as songs that have entered the contemporary American lexicon. And you might remember, in 19, those of you who are around like me, in 1968, a very cool uh, crime th thriller film came out called The Thomas Crown Affair. Anybody remember that movie starring Steve McQueen, Faye Dunaway? So good they did a remix, oh, that was maybe like five years ago or so. Um, anyway, he wrote a beautiful theme to that. I think it was originally recorded by a French uh, artist named Charles Aznavour. Um, and this is probably the most well-known theme from The Thomas Crown Affair. This is a uh, the Windmills of Your Mind, and this is an arrangement I wrote several years ago, and you are going to get a chance to hear also on flugelhorn, my dear friend Mark Dorn, and yes, give it up for Mark. All right. Wait till you hear him. And you're going to get to hear our wonderful pianist, Tom Amend. So here is Michelle, yes, give it up for Tom. All right, and uh, right, so here is Michelle Legrand's Windmills of your mind.
Mark Dorn on flugelhorn. Yes. Tom Amend on piano. Well, believe it or not, we've come to the final selection in the first half of our program. We have a wonderful second half planned for you. And when we get to the end of this piece, there will be a 15-minute intermission. Please go out and visit and uh, enjoy maybe some of this beautiful... Uh, Saturday evening, and we'll be back in 15 minutes with our second half. So, 1968, lots of uh, spy espionage music coming out, both on TV and in the movies, and we thought we would a great way to end our first half would be with the composer Lalo Schifrin's iconic theme from Mission Impossible.
Paris Drums. Yes. Denicio Truillo, alto saxophone. Thank you. 
Craig Hall guitar. Zach Paris on drums. Yes. I think probably the dean of 20th century movie composers uh, in the melodic school that writes fantastic melodies and songs is Henry Mancini. We've already heard one of his pieces, uh, Charade, and we're going to be hearing two more in the course of this concert. Uh, this is one of his most beloved tunes um, from a 1962 film starring Jack Lemmon and Lee Remick called The Days of Wine and Roses. And uh, again, like so many tunes um, that have high melodic content, it entered the lexicon of the Great American Songbook and especially um, the jazz repertoire. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a fantastic pianist. You've heard him several times. And um, he's going to perform uh, our version of The Days of Wine and Roses, which is modeled after, um, I guess I'd say, a signature version. For those of you who, who are jazz fans, you will recognize the name Bill Evans, um, a wonderful pianist and composer. Uh, spent some time with Miles Davis. He's the pianist on the uh, famous 1959 recording, Kind of Blue. And he took, Bill Evans took this tune and made it his own. And for those of you who are interested in the musical details, uh, one, of the, one of the things that Bill did to this tune, which has now become part of the performance practice, is the tune uh, unfolds in two halves. And he decided it would be interesting to do the first half in one key and the second half in another key. And then every time you cycle back to the beginning of the form, you go back to the first key again. And so you're, there's always this kind of a neat shift there. And you'll hear it as we play it. And so uh, to perform our version of Henry Mancini's beautiful Days of Wine and Roses, here's Tom Amend. <laughs>
I believe it came out in the early 60s, and it is just powerful swinging versions of different tunes from movies and Broadway shows. And uh, this is uh, Lerner and Lowe's On the Street Where You Live, arranged by Lenny Niehaus for the Stan Kenton Orchestra. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. We re that's one of our favorite pieces of music to play because it just swings. So um, yeah, we really enjoy that. And thank you for thank you for that. All right, we have our final uh, Henry Mancini piece on the program, and we are very fortunate to have an amazing improviser and uh, composer, arranger, and teacher on the band. Or. Uh, tenor saxophonist right here, Dr. Scott Jefferson, who is on the music faculty at uh, Montana State University Billings. And last year, his big band, the Rocky Mountain Jazz Collective, did a concert exclusively devoted to the music of Henry Mancini. And so some of the music that you heard tonight was written for that concert. And um, it takes a lot of artistic courage to take on Henry Mancini's, perhaps one of his most signature tunes from Breakfast at Tiffany's, Moon River. And Scott has essentially created a beautiful tone poem uh, based on that theme. So here to play his arrangement of Moon River, would you please welcome Scott Jefferson.
Scott Jefferson. All right. They're in the program, but we want to take a chance, want to take the opportunity for you to give the members of the band a little love. And so I'd like to introduce each section to you. On saxophone, let's wait till we get to the end of the section. Saxophone, you just heard him, Scott Jeppesen. On alto saxophone, Denicio Truillo. Performing as, as our lead alto saxophonist tonight from the University of Colorado, Logan Bannister. All the way from Worland, Wyoming, Willie Wright. And Sheridan's own, Max Marquis. Give it up. That's right. Oh. <laughs> All right, the center of the band, the engine of the band, God's instrument, the trombone section, from Cheyenne, Nick Simons, Sheridan, Sheridan Junior High Director of Bands, Aaron, Aaron Schonsenbach, and all the way from Denver, Colorado, give it up for John Gower. Don't give these guys too much applause because they're, you know, they're, they're kind of egotistical anyway because they get to play all the high notes. But you can give them a little bit of love here. Actually, we have a wonderful trombone, or trumpet, see, there you go, Freudian slip. A wonderful trumpet section here, on, all going from this end to that end. From Cheyenne, Wyoming, Andy Mrazinski. From Colorado Christian University, Mark Dorn. Our lead trumpet player, John Harbaugh. All the way from Northwest College, Dr. Robert Rumbles. And uh, on the, right there in the center of the section, all the way from Casper, Wyoming, via the United States Army Bands Program, Brian Bull. How about our trumpet section? And keeping everything swinging and grooving tonight, you've heard them several times, on keyboards, Tom Amend, on guitar, all the way from Bozeman, Montana, our instructor of jazz guitar here at Sheridan College, Craig Hall. On bass, his first time with the band, and I promise it won't be his last, Dr. Tristan Egner. And on drums, also from that fantastic music program, as much as I hate to admit it, at Northwest College. Give it up for Dr. Zach Paris. So, it would not be a concert of music for film without at least one Disney tune. So we decided to pick a fun Disney tune for you from The Jungle Book, and we're going to again, again, we're going to feature Max Marquis on this. Here is our Dixieland big band version of The Bare Necessities. Thank uh you. -huh. 
Marquis, Nick Simons, Mark Dorn. Well, I love being the music director of this outstanding group, but um, my most important job is to have the honor of serving as director of bands and jazz studies right here at the Sheridan College Music Department. And we are on the home stretch of a flurry of exciting concerts. So there's still plenty of free, outstanding music coming to you right here in Kinnison Hall. And so we're going to tell you about them right now. Okay, lecture time. Next slide, please. <laughs> Sorry, Doc, the song for the next one. We're getting there. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. So uh, there they are. They're also in your in the back of your program on uh, Tuesday, May second. We have our choral groups here in the direction of Robert Cerny. The following Saturday, at two thirty p.m., we have our symphony orchestra and choirs under the direction of Dr. Mark Bergman. And finally, on Thursday, May eleventh, we have our final spring. Uh, Band's Spring Pops concert, and we're really excited because our guest soloists is, or will be the local band, The Two Tracks. Plus, we have an array of outstanding student soloists who, before they graduate, they're going to sing one more great concert right here on Kinnison Hall. These concerts are all free, and we would love to see you at each one of them. So we hope you'll put that on your dance card. And if you want to see... And if, if you'd like to have more information about all the cool stuff going on here in the arts area, it's very easy, sheridan.edu slash arts. Well, believe it or not, we have come to the last tune in our program. It's been a, our great pleasure to play this music for you. And we wanted to end with a, a high energy theme from, oh, oh my gosh, thank you. No, wait, there's one more thing. Yes. Thank you, Craig. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Oh, that's why the slide didn't work. Oh, okay. So that was on me. All right, my bad. All right. Sorry, I got a little out of sequence there. We're kind of winging it here, but hey, it's a jazz. Um, so we're, we're doing your tune now, right? Okay. I'm really sorry about that. There will be a little extra... No, there won't. Um, uh, all right. So you remember we talked about the great Johnny Mandel. Um, earlier in the concert, and uh, 
when he, we performed some of his score from I Want to Live. Uh, well, in 1965, he scored a major hit with the movie The Sandpiper. If you, haven't, if you don't know that film, I strongly encourage you to check it out. It's an amazing piece of music. And it's, it's interesting, it's kind of admired for perhaps the most beautifully photographed and scored opening credits of any movie. A lot of folks really admire that, the opening of The Sandpiper. And the primary theme in that score is called, it has come to be called The Shadow of Your Smile. Uh, it was originally known as the love theme from The Sandpiper. But it's a beautiful tune, The Shadow of Your Smile, and our own Craig Hall has crafted an arrangement for you this evening. So here is Craig to play Johnny Mandel's Shadow of Your Smile.
Craig Hall and the Whitney Center Jazz Orchestra Rhythm Section. Yes, Craig. Beautiful. All right, now we have actually come to the last tune in the evening set. And it, we'd like to thank you once again for being such a wonderful audience. And we decided to close with kind of a, a contemporary example of uh, movie music. This is actually music that's written for anime, kind of a, a, a cartoon hybrid there. A pretty popular one called Cowboy Bebop. And um, this, is by, this theme is by a, a fantastic uh, female Japanese composer. Her name is Yoko Kano. And she t simply titles this Tank. I think you're going to enjoy it.
the Whitney Center Jazz Orchestra. Thank you so much. Would you like to hear one more? All right. How about a hand for Logan Bannister on alto saxophone? And that rock and synth solo from Tom and then. Yeah. We've chosen an encore that is so recognizable, you won't even need to know the title. We'll just say that it's beloved of children of all generations.
The Whitney Center Jazz Orchestra, thank you so much.